And um, let's go on down to uh, uh, talking about how you can, and it's not actually naming the polygon, it's, uh, I, would, I prefer the term classified. Classified. A polygon is classified based on how many sides it has. Mr. Eccles. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, question. I need a paper. Oh. I can do that. So we can classify polygons by how many sides there are. And um, is everybody is everybody with me on this that you cannot have a two-sided polygon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it you can't make it a closed figure. You know, the best you could do is is make like an angle which is open, or you could flatten it out, but then it's it's not doesn't have any any interior space. So the most basic one we've got is a three sided figure, and what do we call those? Triangles. Oh, and we guys write type instead of the name. Yeah, we got triangles. I think you guys are going to learn some stuff today. Um, what's a four-sided figure called? Quadrilateral. Yeah, very good. Quadrilateral. And you're going to um, realize that there are lots of four-sided figures that are not squares, that are not rectangles. It, it turns out those are very specific types of quadrilaterals that have to meet very specific uh, criteria. What's a five-sided figure? Pentagon. Pentagon, yeah. Now we might be getting a little more sketchy here. Six-sided figure. Hexagon. Ah, oh, very good. Hexagon. Now this one's kind of different. Is that septagon? Close. It's a heptagon. Seven-sided figure is a heptagon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this will be vocabulary. You'll be uh, expected to know. Um, Eight-sided figure. Octagon. Octagon. A nine-sided figure. It's a nonagon. It's a nonagon. Nonagon. Oh, there's tens and decimal. Oh, I get this. I know the Maybe. numbers. It's not bad. Uh, ten? Yeah, we did that. Was it? Decagon. Yeah, we did it. Those are made by all the Now, um, the, the 11 is the strangest one, and I remember it because it is strange, but it, it doesn't immediately make sense to me. But the 11 sided figure is a 10 decagon. I don't know in what language hen means one, but I think it must somewhere. How do you pronounce one? Hen decagon. Maybe it's not a Maybe. Not a maybe. Not a huh. Hen decagon. What about a, a 12 sided figure? Do decagon. Do decagon. Do decagon. And a 13 sided figure? This seems more intuitive. Try decagon. And here's the thing, it's always fair game if you don't know the proper name, if you're just saying, all right, okay, so it's a figure with 12 sides, okay, it's a, it's a 12 <laughs> gone, except uh, let's replace that with N. So you can just say the number of sides it has and put gone after it, if you're unsure. Well, so if we're a triangle, you should say triangle. Well, so you should say triangle. But, 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 yeah. can't say three goals, but right? three goals. So we have to put vocab in for the test? What's that? Yeah, if we, if we ask. Is in gone for every single one? Of your <laughs> no, I think you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, you need, you need to know these names. But if we're talking about like a 127-sided figure, I'm not going to oh, go okay. and look you. that up. I'm just going to say 127 gone. gone. Yeah, 127 gone. Yep. All right, let's look um, over. He's talking about, he's talking about our uh, attendance. <laughs> yeah, right. The freshman class. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, okay, so uh, what do you suppose it's called when all sides of a polygon are congruent? Equilateral. 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 
What do you suppose it's called when all angles of a polygon are congruent? Equiangular. Equiangular. And a little more vocab here. If a polygon is both equilateral and equiangular, it is a regular polygon. Now this is where we, we really have to um, notice and, and trust the notation that's used in our, in our pictures. For example, um, in example two it says, tell whether each polygon is equilateral, equiangular, or regular. I suppose it could also be none, right? I, I suppose. But we need to add some things to this picture. So I, I've got some information to share with you on that first picture. I need to convey that each of these interior angles are the same. And to do that, we use some arc marks. That's a lot of arc marks. It is. It's starting to kind of look like it. We also need to convey that this side is the same as this side, is the same as this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. So does everybody agree that what I've drawn here is that each angle is the same and each side is the same? Okay, that, that's, we have to have all that information to determine that this is what type of polygon? Regular. Or regular polygon. And actually, how many sides is it? So it is a regular polygon. Okay, so here's what we know on the next one. We know this, we know this, we know less and less. <coughs> Triangle, is it equiangular? No. 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 Without knowing this arc right here, we cannot say that it's equiangular. Is it equilateral? No. No, no it's not. So this is none. Okay, on the next one we know this, less, less, less. And we also know this, less, less, less. Like so? What do you guys think? I think it's equilateral. So now the question is, is it equiangular? No. It is not. So what is actually being conveyed here about the angles? There's two horizontal ones are the same, and the two vertical ones are the same. So not all the same. Exactly. These two are congruent. These two are congruent, but they're not all the same measure, are they? So this is what again? Equilateral. And last one, we know this, 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 this. We also know this, this, that, and that. And what do you guys think? So what else can we do here? Have we done any algebra on this thing? We have not. No algebra yet. Any questions before we do these last examples? Okay, well, um, example three says the lengths in inches of two sides of a regular hexagon are represented by the expression 6x minus 3 and 4x plus 7. Find the length of a side of the hexagon. You guys want to just try this out? Yeah, just take a moment, try it out. If you're unsure, draw a picture. How many sides will your picture have? Six. Hexagon, you got it. Six. But yeah, try it out. If you um, if you got it off, I'll show you again. I'll come back and look.
Hey, once I check your uh, example three, go on to example four. It's it's real similar. because they're like, this isn't science, this is math, and this is what I like to think. Thank you. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, um, through the magic of television, um, so uh, on example three, I got 27 inches, and I checked most of you. Uh, I, I hate it. Normally, I have to do a smiley face, and then I can easily walk around and see who I checked. Um, but I guess with COVID, I probably should. Yeah. Um, but on example three, because it's regular, is everybody with me on that? It's regular, and then once you get X, you got to find a side length. Um, in example four, uh, it, it makes me a little nervous because we've got a quadratic. You guys see that? It's like, ooh, quadratic, X squared. But it says it's a regular polygon, so what do we do? We set these equal, but what happens to the X squared? They disappear. They disappear. We lucked out. Um, there will be times this year where you'll have to solve the quadratic. So you might have to solve it by factoring. You might, and it's probably more likely, you're going to solve it just by square rooting. Is everybody with me on that? Square rooting, that's good. And then notice it says find the value of x. So you're done. You're done. Yeah. Why do the x squares cancel out? What's that? Why do the x squares cancel out? Yeah, I can show you. Um, the x squares. We to solve quadratics, we want to get them together. But when we try to get them together, they they kind of x squared minus x squared is yeah. nothing. You get yeah. nothing. All right. So how are you guys feeling about this so far? Good. Good. All right. Um. Please, please, please. Page 44, 1 through 39, odd. Did I cover all the possible examples we can see? No. No. So you want to get some practice. You want to get some practice. And listen, if you're like, I'm too busy to do all this. I'm too busy. Well, if you're too busy, then do every other odd. We just want to do a variety of problems, right? A variety. So, um, let's see. Tomorrow, tomorrow, let's uh, let's quiz over this and try to do our our uh, what are they called? constructions. So we'll quiz tomorrow and do some constructions.